Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over my Pelican 1170 case. A couple of people have actually asked me to talk about how I transfer all of these different firearms that I have. And uh, really, Pelican cases are the only thing I really trust, especially for my high-end rifles. But this is my smaller case that I use for my SW99, which is a Smith & Wesson variant of the P99. Uh, that Walther makes. Uh, a few things that I really like about this is the fact that first and foremost you can only use one lock or you can use only one lock uh, to keep it locked uh, instead of using both holes like some of them require. As you can see even though I am using one lock no one would be able to get that gun out of there. The reason I do this is because if there is a, ever is a chance or a reason that I'm transferring my handgun and uh, a situation arises that I actually need to use it, I'd much rather just need to do this and get started than, uh, you know, have to unlock both of them and have a few extra seconds where it may actually matter. So, Pelican cases, as I'm sure you've already actually heard of them, um, are really considered the top tier cases for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're pretty damn near indestructible. Um, they're made of plastic instead of metal, so they're actually a bit lighter too. But the way they make the plastic and the formula of the plastic they use is actually very high impact, which is one of the reasons that Pelican actually has a lifetime warranty in all of their cases. So if this case ever breaks or gets damaged in a way that I can't use it, uh, I literally just call up Pelican and they'll send me a new one because that's the what you know they really think about their product. So the other aspects of the case is that everything is very simple and it's sort of designed in a way that is meant to be very user friendly. You have these, oh, sorry. You have these uh, two very bulky latches that are both easy to, to lock down and are easy to open. Um, you have a waterproof seal around the case. Not sure if you can see that, but it's actually two little rubber seals. And they make this case waterproof as well once these are closed. You can see how tight it gets closed, even though I'm only using my thumbs to close it. On top of that, you have this uh, pressure release valve, so if there's ever a gas buildup of any sort in there for obvious reasons or less obvious reasons, um, this will make sure that you know it doesn't violently explode and cause harm to anybody. At the same time, if this ever falls underwater or something really, really deep, that's also another reason they have that, to just you know equalize gases between the two sides. Um, at the same time, this case actually comes with something called the pluck and pick foam. You can see that when I'm spreading this, it's actually a bunch of little squares of foam. And what you do is you put your weapon on it, or whatever you want to carry. You can even put your phone in this if you want. And you outline it, and then you literally just go in there with your fingers and you pull out the foam. Uh, what I did though is I actually cut it a rough shape of where it should be. I pulled out the whole piece of foam. And then afterwards, I cut the back end of it just to make it a little bit smaller, and I put it back in. And that gives this a nice backdrop to actually rest on, which is the way you should be doing it. As you can see, this case, the 11, the 1170, is uh, pretty large for what it does. You can easily hold a handgun with one magazine loaded into it, which, for California reasons, this one's always unloaded. You can then put another magazine in. And if you wanted, you can either put another magazine, or you can even put a 50-round a box of ammo in there as well. I think that, for all intents and purposes, I'd rather have two fully loaded magazines ready to go than one fully loaded magazine and 50 rounds that I have to keep swapping back and forth in. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is my little review of the Pelican cases. I actually have a... A damn big one that I use to house my AK-47, my AR-15, uh, my EOTech, and this is all in the same case by the way, my EOTech, my EOTech magnifier, my red dot sight, my, I use six AR-15 30 round magazines in there, four 30 round AK-47 magazines, and a cleaning kit, and just a bunch of other crap in there. Um, I, I think it is the 1750 but I'm not 100% sure, but I'll check it, and I will put a link to it as well. Um, but until then, this is my review of 
my favorite cases, the Pelican cases, and I will see you guys next time.